Hello everybody and welcome back to the final episode of the series and of the season and it's all done after this one. We are in the Champions League Cup final, we do play Man City. I am dreading it to be perfectly honest. Man City get into the final, they lost to Fiorentina, got quite a good uh, few wins in there. Benfica, Real San Sebastian, uh, Benfica again, Paris Saint-Germain, a very, very good um, two-legged victory overall. Real Madrid as well, very impressive. And Chelsea as well, winning 3-0 in the second leg uh, to go through on that one. Ourselves, on the other hand, we hadn't lost a game until we played Tottenham. We beat Marseille, we beat Shakhtar, we beat Anderlecht convincingly. Marseille again, that we were the toughest in our group. Shakhtar, we totally annihilated 11-0. Uh, Bilbao, 10-0 on aggregate. Nine later then. 9-2 against Napoli. And then the big one against Tottenham where we were 4-2 down and winning 3-2 to make it 5-4 on aggregate. And that was a fantastic achievement there by the lads. Our head-to-head -head hasn't been really that impressive in the Champions League either. We've beaten twice in the final, which is good for us. But after that, we've kind of struggled. We haven't. We've only won three games, and I think only one of them really counting in the second leg last season. But head to head, we've won 17, and they've won 15, and it's only a plus three goal difference for ourselves. This is the side that's going to play against Man City. Then we've got Heatley in goal. We've got Piri Piri, Berger, Sula, and Hernandez at the backs. Saul and Sanchez in the centre. Pelosi, Martins, Gubbles, and Abiro up front. Uh, I am tempted to bring Rashford in though. Rashford can go alongside uh, Ibeer actually. The, our two top uh, goal scorers, we really need them firing on all cylinders as well. A card it had really wanted, so uh, who do we take off? Someone who's not actually going to physically probably play. We could do with a defender in there though really, couldn't we? Because knowing our look, we'll... Um, lose a defender but you know I'm going to take the risk it risk it for a biscuit so Rashford actually comes in instead let's go out there let's get a final trophy of the season and let's uh, see how it all goes so fingers crossed everybody final game and for the last time let's submit this team Mbappe and Keane up front I'm just wondering now whether to drop these two guys down uh, prove a point today okay they're taking it on board here we are in the Amsterdam Arena. It'll be interesting to see what the capacity is like. I would expect it's around about 100,000 maybe. I may be wrong. It looks impressive so far and uh, we do get it away and we're under the cosh already, first 10 minutes. Right, Heatley with a goal kick. Pumps it up for front and we don't get there at all and we just seem to be lost. Maybe we're just playing a little bit too wide. Man City always seemed to do us with that formation, but we tried to come forward. <laughs> Easily tackled Mbappe now. And thankfully that's a poor effort. And they they are on top, 73% of the possession, but we do have an attack. Sowell into the centre. And again, anybody? We just can't find our men. 10 minutes in, and that's a very, very good tackle by Hernandez. Berger, get it away. Don't mess around at the back. The play it out. Martin's back inside to Sanchez this time, trying to get him more creative into the game. But Mart, why didn't you run down the gap? Like that. And Ball comes in, and it's, it's easy. Man City have done us in the final, and... Um, I mean, why pass it there? I don't understand. I don't understand why he did that. Why didn't he go for a run? And he's left on his own, Mbappe, on his own, up front. Maybe we need to drag our uh, wingers back. Oblak with a goal kick. We've not really had a shot on goal. Or on target, at least, anyway. And Keane comes away with it again. And he just looks solid, doesn't he? Oh, my word. They're 2 it up. And we've just got smashed at the back again. What on earth is going on? This is going to be a real disappointment if we come away with a loss here. For the final game of the season. But 
Oh, well, I actually, hang on. We, we've still got some stuff in the locker. We have got players that can turn this around. We did against Tottenham. Although it's not over two legs. Over the top. Ibero inside middle. And we just head it over. Three shots we've had on goal, apparently. Time to bring Summerch in, I think. Midfielders just... Um, they're just poor. They're just being overrun. Man City just too... Just leaving them on their own. Oh, I just don't know what. This could be a thumping and a half. I was really looking forward to this last game as well. And Man City, are just, they're just too good. Right, we do have an attack. Can we get a goal before half time? That would be nice and totally against the run of play. And like it is at the moment, we're not. Getting the ball. Louisville now. Plays it out wide to Vinicius. And. Oh my lord. He's had a go from 20 odd yards. What on earth was that? 4-0. We're in the final guys. And we're losing 4-0. Where there's a time you want to change a goalkeeper. I think this would be the time. I think I can feel the hair dryer treatment coming on at half time and we've been poor absolutely and totally and utterly poor and we've just run I don't look disappointing you were awful and in the meantime I'm going to drop these guys back I think I don't think I have a choice uh, Abira you oh Rashford you have been really poor uh, Goebbels can come in and he can go on a support can help a bearer out actually you know what I'm going to change him around Port then Goebbels even though you can play both got no choice but to attack Rashford you're coming off you you have been really poor there's nothing to say that we can't score four goals in the second half but ideally we could do one now anybody want to have a go on goal Goebbels is now injured why why have you done we do pick it up. This could be a golden opportunity to score. And we don't. Corner ball, Pelosi now. Can we get that ball in? It's just crowded out by Man City players. I mean, that's just horrendous. Wow. We've had four shots on goal. To be honest, I'd be glad to see the back of Man City. <laughs> right, Theo. And we still can't score. What on earth? Oh, it's a good crunching tackle. Let's get sent off now as well. Sanchez. Straight red. Wow. For the final game of the season. We've had it all, haven't we? Just finish it off. Wow. We've just been absolutely annihilated. And that's what you do not want to see at the end of your season. We fought back well against Tottenham to get to the final, but for Man City to go and do that to us. Uh, I'm not happy with that result. But what are you going to do? Last game of the season, and that is it. That is the end of the season and end of the save. 4-0. I would have rather lost in the semi-final if that was the case. So we peter out the end of the season quite poorly. And if you have a look, all that long run of winning and then look at the losses there. Three in the last five and the last one. Look at that. That's just really poor. 4-0. I really did not expect that. Let's see what the press have to say. Um, we lost. Yeah, we know. Injured. For, I don't care. We get 10 million. Sanchez is banned for one match. You know what? I don't really care, but I'm going to find your week's wages. Uh, press conference is about to begin send the assistant we received 34 million though in television television revenue squad bonus 5 million don't know why because they don't deserve it Sanchez accept is fine that's okay by me then I'm glad you accept it what else we got uh, Barry sets record for most player of the match awards in the Champions League 6 Golden Boots by Samu 
Rashford was close behind. Right, award winners in the Champions League. Donnarumma, Oblak and Heatley third. Berger gets num um, top defender. Well done. Uh, Vinicius, Brand. Yeah, it's all Man City there, isn't it? It was at Marseille. Ibero, Rashford and Samu forwards. So if he gets golden boot, how come Ibero's won it? Heike named in the overall best 11. So Cardi, Lukaku, Marshall, Komen. So where's Heike in there then? Heike named in Man United overall best 11 squad. So where is he then? He's not there. End of season awards then. Ibero, player, fans player of the season, 53%. Without a doubt. Um... Best signing of the season for 107 million. You'd expect that. 24 years old for a young player of the season as well. Coman, goal of the season. Uh, dynamics seem pretty cool with that. End of season meeting, discuss plans for next season. We're not going to be here, so whatever that is, we'll go back and do it all over again. End of season confidence review. The heavy, heavy falling in the final was not acceptable. I agree. So appearance was wise. Heatley, I said I was going to play him all the time, so he did. So he had. 6 56 games so it's not bad at all uh period period was ever present virtue sanchez sula uh gilberto so not bad stability wise at the bar was quite good a uh, bero 37 so quite rotate around up front um in phil banks got one um appearance rodriguez had earlier had about three and ten a sub ethan did quite well when he played Cardi not so much purely because of his age. Goals. This is where we want to have a look. Ibero, 43 in his first season for the club. Uh, Rashford, 38, still continuing his fine form. Goebbels, 30. Heike, 29. So almost had four, oh, four strikers on 40 go uh, 30 goals plus. Martins, Cardi, and uh, Komen all in the teens as well. Everybody else chipping in. There's Ole Heatley that didn't score. Uh, Magno, Banks, and Chiwell, who was injured for quite a while as well. Uh, assists, Rashford and Ibero. What can I say? I mean, 28 assists, 38 goals in 36 appearances. That's fantastic. Same with uh, Ibero, 27 assists with 43 goals. Marvellous. Belosi, Gobbles, and Martins in the teens to go with Canderwell and Summit and Sanchez as well. Everybody else chipping in once again until you get down to the bottom where they didn't have that many games. Average rating, Ibero then, top in, 8.17, fantastic. Everybody going in the sevens all the way down to, the, to get to the bottom. Healy, 7.11, that must be the best by a goalkeeper in the club, for, uh, in the save really, uh, from our point of view at least anyway. Uh, Banks, 6.9, and Rodriguez, 6.82, only because he didn't play that many games. And most valued players, Ibero, 80 million, 76 by Summich, and they are still young, look at this. I mean, Rashford is 67 million, he's still young. Sanchez, 29 years young as well, still up there. And just a couple of players starting to age a little bit, which we would be considering to replace, but we don't need to now. Uh, highest wage earner, Sanchez. It's these guys here that we would need to move on, Komen and Sanchez. Um, quite disappointing that Komen was injured virtually the whole season. But what can you do on 325 grand a week? Uh, so much. I wouldn't want to put him on any more than that. Everybody else getting pretty high until you get down to the bottom where we have most of our players. Uh, 140 grand Pelosi, bargain, some of these as well. To have a look at the Premiership, we do fall short of the 100 points, but I don't really mind that at all. Uh, Biro, Rashford, top of the goal scoring. Average ratings of Biro, Sanchez and Rashford. Sanchez and Biro, top assists. Heat leads just falling short of Courtois and the clean sheets. But Chelsea do fall short with us as well, of which case they did lose to ourselves, lost to Stoke and Man City as well. Let's just have a look at the other tables. Leeds and Brentford are in the final there, so they haven't played that yet, but Watford and Brighton come up. Uh, MK Dons, Preston and Sunderland go down. Um, Notts County get promoted once again. They're doing quite well, aren't they? Uh, with Sheffield United, Steven is your Fulham in the final in that one. Northampton, Bradford, Mansfield and uh, Leighton Orient go down. Billy Ricky. Finish top of League Two. Quite phenomenal stuff. Uh, Hartlepool, Bristol Rovers and um, Wimbledon with uh, Ebsley and Chesterfield going down to the Nash uh, Vanarama League. Uh, the table, Fleetwood and Flyde come back up, which is good. Torquay, Geisley, or Geisley, Harrogate and uh, Morecambe 
there as well. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to... Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to have a look at the Hall of Fame. Where do we finish? And we do overhaul Alex Ferguson, as was the intention to do in the 10 years that we had here. We are on top of the Hall of Fame, and that's nine domestics, four, uh, four domestic cups. We've got 13 club trophies, and that'll include uh, some Champions League as well. Um, we've won it five times, won the club championship five times, Euro Super Cup three times, Carabao two wins, uh, seven Community Shields, nine Premiership titles and two FA Cup wins. Disappointing for the final season though, it has to be said. Uh, my profile, I am a five star, I'm exceptional apparently. My overview, so 618 games played, 454 won, 74 drawn, 90 lost. We um, scored just shy of 1800 goals with 573 against, what a goal difference, win percentage 73%, fantastic. Um, what's this, cups, 24 cups, 9 league wins. I'm assuming the, nine, uh, the 24 Cups is all the other competitions. Our highest fee spent, 107 million. Received 90 million from Martial. Total fee paid to agents, 167 million. Uh, we did a uh, value of players, 2.46 billion. I think that's something we've bought, isn't it? Transfers and sold 1.65 billion, so that's not too bad. We were 3,620 days into the save. Job history, there we go. In our 10 years, quite a lot of trophies there. Play over the month, manager of the month, six times. Manager of the year, six times. Competitions, we did win the Community Shield, Carabao and the, and the league. Uh, we won something every year, but that was the most successful year, the 23-24. I am a club legend which is nice, uh, behind Matt Busby and Ferguson, even Kingsley Coman's in there as a player, with Martial, Best, Law, Edwards, Robson, Cantona, Giggs and Charlton. Does Ibero get in there? He gets in there as an icon. So all our players that we brought in, they all did something which is really good. Finance wise, 43 million. You know what, we're leaving the club with some money. <laughs> we look like we are going to uh, fail the English uh, wage rise regulations, oh well. It doesn't really matter at this point in time. It's a commercial summary. Hi, Kerr, Rashford, Ibero, Martins and Coburn with the biggest shirts. We were down on sponsorship. We were up on prize money. Heatley has gone and set a new Man United um, clean sheet record. 29 clean sheets by Heatley. He beat De Gea with 27. Wow. How many did he concede in the end then, Heatley? Uh, he's got the potential to go all the way, 32, so you can see the 52 and 56. That's not bad, 29 clean sheets. Right, that brings our series to a close. Oh look, we've got 243 million in the bank. We win the league. We Unfortunately, we didn't win the Champions League. It would have been a fairy tale story if we did win that against Man City, but Man City were just way too strong. There will be something new for FM19. Hopefully that will be out shortly. Hopefully you'll stay with us. Hopefully you enjoyed this series. It's, it's been a challenge. And when things were going right, they were going right until the <laughs> we bottle in it towards the end of the season, which was a little bit of a pain. And Man City doing us a new one. There's been some highs and some lows. There's been fantastic games. We've been battered quite a few times, but we have picked ourselves up. We have got some decent players. We've worked our way from the bottom. Rashford has stayed with us right from the beginning. Um, even Akadi was one of the main players. And there's not many players that have stayed with us right from the very beginning. And them two I can just point out straight away. Cardi, our first buy. And um, Rashford, just sticking with us all the way through. And he has come good. I've really enjoyed it. I'd like to do, do something like this again in FM19. But I think it might be time to do something different. But I'm not quite sure what yet. So watch this space. If you've only just seen this one or seen the last episode, go back and watch the whole series. But I have really enjoyed it. And I hope you have too. So if you did that, please pop a massive like on there. It does help my channel quite a bit. And it just helps it get out there a little bit more as well. Uh, if you'd like to stay with this channel, please subscribe. See what we're going to do in FM19. There will be FM uh, FIFA 19 will be coming back. Uh, we took a break just so we could finish this series off just before the FIFA 19, uh, 
FM19 started. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.